Hi everyone, Jackie with Full Moon Loom Designs and I did another tray of dichroic dots, more or less, uh, that I want to turn into wine charms. Super happy with this batch. Um, I did take my time as I posted uh, in my post yesterday that I glued them together with just a single drop of hairspray. I use just suave hairspray and a little needle tip bottle. Um, and let them sit upside down and then flipped them over onto the tray um, or onto the shelf. And some of these you're going, huh, what is that? If you didn't see my earlier post. So let's flip these over and see if they do, if they did end up looking brighter. Okay, that doesn't help because the thin fire's on there. I'll clean them up and we'll take a look. But those were paw prints and then some of the fireworks uh, design, which I did a set just clear capped um, to see if they they would be kind of bright they're kind of kind of muted as well so which I kind of expected looking at the design on them I didn't think they were going to be super bright because the original dichro was not um, but these all turned out spectacular have some leaf designs in there I think some are oak leaves and some are maple leaves and then these little pinkish florally ones. Those are really pretty. And I'm gonna pause the camera and go clean up the pieces so that I get the thin fire washed off of them and let's take a look at those paw designs. The first batch I did, I made a little bit larger and in the end, I wasn't real happy with them as a size for a wine charm. I think they're a little bit large, um, but I did try a pair of them. Well, I just did one as an earring and tried it on. I don't wear earrings. Unfortunately, they bother my ears no matter what the metal is. Uh, but I did try one on and they're not all that heavy. So something I wanted to share though is that with the uh, little findings that I found, found findings, let's say that a few times really fast. Um, they're just little earring bales. I got these on Amazon. You can get them just about anywhere that has jewelry findings, uh, your local craft store. But what I discovered was um, when I used just the bale, and I'm going to have to, well, I, I don't want to mess with this one. This is one that just came out, the smaller one. Here's one that I glued yesterday. Uh, if you just put the ring on, or put the, the charm on the ring, it's not going to lay flat because the shape of the bale, see how that is, but that does work fine for earrings, which, uh, go figure, that's what they're made for is their earring bales. So with this little loop, or with this little uh, hook, I think these are French hooks, something like that. These are some I've had for ages. Uh, because I did used to be into a little bit more uh, bead uh, bead work and jewelry making, it's just too fussy for me these days, but I did put one of them on here, and it works well as an earring. So these were the three-quarter inch uh, glass dichro squares with a, about a seven-eighths inch uh, clear cap over them. So they rounded up nicely, most of them. I think if you saw my other video, there were a few that didn't. Uh, but then yesterday I did a batch that were smaller and I need to be careful because I literally just glued this guy on. These are half inch squares capped with 5 eighths inch clear. And then a few of them, like the paw prints that had the little bit uh, darker design. Let me find one of the original ones. So here's one. You can see it. They're just a little bit hard to see, and if you're not like right in the light, it's really hard to see the design. So I thought, what if I did those upside down and just capped them, and I say capped in air quotes because it's really the back. What if I capped them in uh, black? So I have some of those. Hopefully you can see, they're much brighter. And, but the backs are round, so I thought, okay, well, I, I have glued bales on to rounder backs uh, in the past when I've done similar. So I did try one. I literally just glued these on. But as long as you glue them on and you probably would want to let them sit upside down while they dry, uh, then they should work just fine. So here is one of the paw ones. 
that was fired dicro side down against thin fire with just a black uh, clear cap or I'm sorry, black capping, <laughs> a black square on the back of them. And I'll, I'll throw a picture of the setup in, at the end of this video. So I like this size better. And then I did go ahead and put one on a ring to see what it would look like as a wine glass charm. This is kind of a, <laughs> a chunky wine glass. So th this is actually, I believe, one of the Arby's glasses from a few years ago. We still had a couple of these in our cabinet. So that's the larger size, and yeah, it's okay. Um, but I think I like the smaller size a little bit better for charms. But again, you could use them as earrings. Uh, you could use them as cabs for uh, pendants. All kinds of things you can do. Um, don't be limited by just thinking, oh, she's making wine charms. That's just one idea I had because um, I will be in Texas for a little bit this winter, uh, helping with my mother-in-law and there's a ton of wineries in the area that they live in, so or the area she lives in. So we'll probably um, hit a few of those and check them out and see if maybe they are interested in either buying some or letting me sell some. So I thought, you know, this is a project that I could work on uh, down there. I can get the pieces fired up ahead of time and then add the findings in that later on. So, so yeah, again, this was capped with clear. And this is the same, it's really hard for me to get this in the right light in the camera, but it is brighter. As you know, if you've tried photographing or putting on video dichro, it's very hard to do, but this one is definitely brighter. So I would do it that way uh, going forward. <laughs> and uh, these are just some ideas. Like again, I think it's better to have a little ring on there before you put it onto the charm ring. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So this is just the finding. And then I found I had some jump rings, but I'm really not digging the trying to pry them apart, although they are more secure. So if you have jump rings, they make these little tools, which you can just get in there and split them apart. It's very hard to do this looking through the phone. But yeah, you would split them apart and then run your finding through it. I don't want to do that with any of these. I just glued because obviously they're not uh, set yet. But that is, if I can get it in focus, that is how you would do a jump ring. Otherwise, it's just a regular ring. And I think I've got some of those in here too. Because that's what I put on the one that's on the glass. And I may want to get some that are just a little bit smaller. Because to me, that feels a little big for this size of a charm. But then again, maybe not. We'll see how it looks uh, once these cure and they're set up. So anyway, I just wanted to share um, what I was doing with them. Again, uh, earring findings would work well with this type of a bale um, because it is an earring bale. Uh, there wasn't the issue of it turning, but if you have them just on the charm ring, just do this again. Just know that they're not going to lay flat because they're these rings are going to go through them like this so if you wanted it let's see how it looks if i put it around the wine glass I'll take this one off excuse the gloves here my hands are so thrashed <laughs> that time of year my skin is dry my cuticles i pick at and yeah just not a good scene, and I was getting fingerprints all over everything. Yeah. So it would work, but I just think that having the ring on there might, uh, the little jump ring or something might be a little bit better. Um, Cause yeah, it's just, they wanna flip over and then you see the backside, which isn't a horrible thing, but if you want them to really look nice, I would recommend putting a second ring if you're using that type of bale. There's all kinds of bales out there. You could even drill holes and run a ring through them. Um, but then you would have the same thing. You would need to have a ring going through uh, this direction if you drilled a hole and then run your uh, your wine, whatever you call it, charm ring. What are these even called? Let's see. They are called wine glass charm dot 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 <laughs> I, i'm sure it said ring on the package just from amazon um, i'm sure you can find some of these probably in your local craft stores too 
I just went ahead and ordered a set of those with the set of these little earring bales. Uh, but yeah, that is, uh, oh, I wanted to show some of the other ones, how they turned out. So these were one of the designs also that didn't look really super bright, uh, just being clear cap, but they do look better uh, done the same way that the paws were. Let me see if I can find some other ones where I did cap them. But this batch did turn out really nice. Oh, here's one. Oh, that's paw prints. And no, there are not birds outside. There's actually snow on the ground this morning. <laughs> Just a trace, not, not a huge deal. Here we go. So here's one, I'll put a side by side here. I think you can probably see the difference. It just lost a little bit of its pizzazz. <laughs> it's not as bright. And this one was dichro down against thin fire. This one was clear cap. So you can definitely see the difference on those two. Let me see if I can put those paw ones side by side again. So yeah, definite difference. So it's just a preference thing, you know, whatever you like, but um, these were easy to do. I hope that uh, the tip I shared about putting just a drop of hairspray between the, the two pieces and then letting them sit and flip them over was helpful because for me, my hands are not steady and <laughs> trying to set up a whole tray full or a whole kiln shelf full of them uh, was not going well. So I decided to just take my time, glue them together. Yes, there's more time involved, but at the same time, if I had to keep redoing them because of knocking them over or knocking them out of place, that's waste of time and a whole lot of frustration that I don't need. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Hope you're having a great weekend or a weekday, whatever day you're uh, watching this. Um, but as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.